Maverick's Riveting Education Comparison Case Study An in-depth comparative analysis of U.S. and Chinese education systems, a pathway to innovation. Summary In this enlightening analysis, we explore the stark contrasts and hidden parallels between the U.S. and Chinese education systems. This in-depth study reveals how the U.S., with 27,000-plus high schools offering college-level AP and IB programs, cultivates an environment of creativity and intellectual curiosity, nurturing the world's leading innovators. Yet, the Chinese system, lauded for discipline and rote learning, seems to curtail innovative thinking due to its high-stakes testing focus. However, reality transcends these broad strokes, with both systems housing strengths and weaknesses often overlooked. By unearthing historical perspectives, scrutinizing current trends, and analyzing data from my unique vantage point as a Tsinghua graduate and U.S. education practitioner. We aim to unravel these complexities and their implications on global innovation and progress. Presented by Global Elites Network at Non.School. Introduction. Education, the cornerstone of societal progress, reflects the socioeconomic, cultural, and historical dimensions of a nation. It shapes the young minds that will become tomorrow's innovators, thinkers, and leaders. As a graduate of Tsinghua University in China with an MBA from a U.S. institution and over a decade of experience in the U.S. accelerated learning field, I am uniquely positioned to analyze and compare these two distinctive educational landscapes. This study dives into the intricacies of U.S. and Chinese education systems, illuminating their respective strengths and weaknesses. With a particular focus on the profound impact of advanced coursework and teaching quality on fostering innovation and shaping future generations. Advanced Placement and International Baccalaureate Programs, Pioneering U.S. Education The U.S. has integrated the Advanced Placement AP, program into its educational framework since the 1950s. This program offers high school students the opportunity to pursue college-level academic coursework, enabling an early exposure to complex subject matter. The International Baccalaureate IB, program, another internationally recognized advanced curriculum, has also gained considerable traction in U.S. high schools due to its rigorous academic standards. Nearly all of the 27,000-plus U.S. high schools offer either the AP or IB system, equating to approximately half a million advanced classes nationwide. These systems span a broad spectrum of subjects beyond traditional core areas, fostering intellectual curiosity and critical thinking among American students. High-quality teaching, a cornerstone of advanced education, the success of the AP and IB programs hinges significantly on the quality of teaching. With a faculty often equipped with master's or PhD degrees, U.S. high schools ensure that as students delve into advanced subjects like Calculus BC, they receive high-quality instruction, thus significantly enhancing their learning experience. In contrast, the Chinese education system predominantly operates at an academic level equivalent to the New York State Regents level without an equivalent to the widespread AP or IB programs. The result is a narrower academic challenge set for Chinese students, potentially hampering their competitiveness and readiness for global higher education. A Tale of Two High Schools An Illustration of Educational Disparity To provide a more concrete comparison, let's examine two high schools, one located near New York City in the US, and the other in China. The US high school, despite its small size with only 240 students per grade, offers an astounding variety of over 100 courses. The options range from core academic subjects to niche areas such as acoustics in auditorium design and clothing design. This diverse curriculum encourages students to explore a wide range of interests and potential career paths, fostering creativity and innovative thinking. Conversely, a typical Chinese high school's curriculum primarily revolves around subjects relevant to the Gaokao, China's National College Entrance Exam, with only a few additional courses such as physical education. This narrow curriculum, heavily focused on rote learning and high-stakes testing, offers limited opportunities for students to explore diverse fields or engage in creative, independent thinking. Misconceptions and Reality In many Chinese minds, the U.S. education system appears lax due to its absence of rote learning. Conversely, the Chinese education system's rigorous approach, with its emphasis on intensive memorization and solid numeracy skills, might seem superior. However, these perceptions overlook the key strengths of each system and the different objectives they serve. 
American students entering top-tier universities often have a broader and deeper knowledge base than their Chinese counterparts. This broad-based learning, covering subjects like psychology, equips American students with a more well-rounded education, enabling them to be more mature and innovative. Innovation and Education, an Indissoluble Bond Innovation, a driving force of progress, springs from creative, forward-thinking minds shaped by their education. The U.S., home to global tech giants like Google, Facebook, and Apple, and the birthplace of breakthrough innovations like ChatGPT, clearly illustrates this connection. These innovations emerge from an environment that encourages creativity, critical thinking, and interdisciplinary learning. The U.S. education system, with its emphasis on these aspects, can be largely credited for fostering this innovative spirit. China, despite its rapid economic growth and significant advancements in various fields, lags behind in producing breakthrough innovations at a similar pace. While China has strived to create its version of Silicon Valley, its education system's focus on rote learning and test scores often falls short in fostering the creative, critical thinking needed for groundbreaking innovations. Why is this significant? Because the future of every nation lies in its ability to innovate. Today's students are tomorrow's inventors, entrepreneurs, and leaders. A nation's ability to innovate and compete globally, therefore, hinges largely on its education system's capacity to prepare students for these roles. The American University Advantage American universities like Harvard, MIT, Princeton, Stanford, Yale, Caltech, and Columbia typically admit students who have already mastered college-level material, thanks to AP and IB programs. This advanced standing places these students at an equivalent academic level to juniors at top-tier Chinese universities like Tsinghua and Peking University PKU. This discrepancy highlights the significant gap between the American and Chinese education systems. While American students are encouraged to delve deep into a multitude of subjects, their Chinese counterparts are limited to a narrower set of subjects. Moreover, the emphasis on standardized testing in China, specifically the Gaokao, underscores a significant challenge. While the Gaokao is comprehensive, covering many subjects, its score-centric approach and high-stakes nature often limit students' scope of learning, inhibiting their creativity and critical thinking. Foreign students in U.S. universities, a reality check. A common misconception is that the quality and reputation of U.S. higher education are largely propped up by foreign students. However, data shows that international students make up about 3% of the total student population in the U.S. Clearly, the U.S.'s position as a global leader in higher education is not solely reliant on its international students. Rather, it is driven by its robust education system, characterized by high-quality teaching, advanced curricula, and a culture that fosters creativity and innovation. Conclusions and Recommendations China's education system, while rigorous and structured, suffers from its heavy reliance on rote learning and high-stakes testing. A shift towards a more flexible curriculum, similar to the AP and IB programs, could enhance the system's dynamism, fostering creativity and promoting innovation. It would be equally beneficial for Chinese universities to consider more comprehensive admissions criteria moving beyond Gaokao scores to a more holistic evaluation of student capabilities. On the other hand, the U.S. system could potentially learn from the disciplined approach of the Chinese system, incorporating more rigorous standards in certain areas, without compromising its strength in fostering creativity and critical thinking. Conclusion While education is just one piece of the innovation puzzle, it is a crucial one. As the U.S. continues to lead in global innovation, it's clear that its education system, which fosters creativity, critical thinking, and encourages a broad-based learning approach, plays a significant role. China's educational approach, while excellent in instilling discipline and memorization, falls short in fostering a culture of creativity and innovation. Ultimately, it's not just about comparing and scoring education systems. It's about recognizing their unique strengths, understanding their shortcomings, and continually striving to create an environment that nurtures the minds of future innovators. Each country's education system should be a springboard for students to leap into the realm of innovation, encouraging them to break boundaries and pioneer groundbreaking ideas. Through this comparative analysis, it is hoped that educators, policymakers, and stakeholders in both countries will gain a better understanding of their respective educational landscapes. By adopting the strengths and addressing the weaknesses of each system, 
we can potentially elevate education standards globally and pave the way for an era of enhanced creativity, critical thinking, and unprecedented innovation. In a world where global challenges are increasingly complex, we must ensure our education systems are adequately equipped to prepare students for the unknown, to think creatively, critically, and innovatively. The key to the future lies in our classrooms today, and it is our responsibility to shape an education system that is a true pathway to innovation. Top 10 References 1. The Smartest Kids in the World, and How They Got That Way, by Amanda Ripley. 2. Chinese Lessons, Five Classmates and the Story of the New China, by John Pomfret. 3. OECD, 2020. Education at a Glance 2020, OECD Indicators, OECD Publishing, Paris. 4. National Center for Education Statistics, 2020. Digest of Education Statistics. 5. Quan, Chen, et al. 2020. From Quantity to Quality, A New Benchmarking for China's Compulsory Education, China and World Economy, Volume 28, Issue 4, pp. 1-24. 6. College Board, 2021, AP Program Participation and Performance Data. 7. Shen, Hong, 2020. Study on the imbalance between the development of education and economy in China. Educational Sciences, Theory and Practice, 22, 13-25. 8. Zhao, Yang, 2009. Catching Up or Leading the Way, American Education in the Age of Globalization, ASCD. 9. Finn, Chester E., Jr., and Mano, Bruno V., 2020. Learning in the Fast Lane, the Past, Present, and Future of Advanced Placement, Princeton University Press. 10. Li, Chengji. 2020. The Gaokao, College Entrance Examination, in China, Failures and Hopes, Frontiers of Education in China, 15, 1, pp.75-101. Top 10 Questions for Further Analysis. 1. How are the skills gained through the U.S. and Chinese education systems respectively, translated into innovative practices within your organization? 2. Does the creativity and critical thinking fostered by the U.S. education system provide a competitive advantage in your industry? 3. How does the discipline and rote learning emphasis of the Chinese education system manifest in the work ethic and problem-solving abilities of your employees? 4. How can businesses better leverage the strengths of both education systems in development strategies? 5. What kinds of educational backgrounds do the most innovative leaders in your organization have? 6. How can businesses encourage a culture of lifelong learning and continuous skill improvement, inspired by the educational practices of both countries? 7. Do you see any trends or patterns in the performance or skill sets of employees based on their educational backgrounds, US versus China? 8. How can businesses contribute to the evolution of education systems to better prepare future employees for the challenges of tomorrow? 9. How can the principles of the AP and IB programs be integrated into corporate learning and development initiatives? 10. Given the pace of technological change, how can businesses work with educational institutions to ensure that the curricula remain relevant and applicable to the industry's needs? Top 10 Potential MBA Case Study Topics for Global Business Leaders 1. The Role of Education in Fostering Innovation and Entrepreneurship, Comparing the U.S. and China 2. The Impact of Education Systems on Global Talent Acquisition Strategies 3. Understanding the East-West Divide the influence of educational backgrounds on leadership styles in multinational corporations. 4. Case study. Adapting Western business models for success in China. 5. The role of business schools in shaping future leaders, a comparative study of the US and China. 6. Balancing globalization and localization, how education systems affect business strategy in the US and China. 7. Transforming education. How can businesses contribute to evolving education systems in the U.S. and China? 8. Navigating cultural differences in business, insights from comparative education studies. 9. Corporate social responsibility and education. How can businesses contribute to education in their communities? 10. From classroom to boardroom. 
How Different Education Systems Impact Organizational Culture and Decision Making. That concludes version 1.0, our teaser. We at Global Elites Network warmly invite you, if you found this intriguing and wish to explore the fully fleshed out business case study, version 2.0. To join either our at non.school channel at https colon slash slash non.school or the at mba.case study at https colon slash slash case study dot mba. Here, you'll gain access to and the opportunity to digest the full version 2.0 case study in depth. Every day, Maverick releases several videos that house the detailed version 2.0 on both the at non.school and at mba.case study channels. We'd love to hear your thoughts on any MBA case study video that grabs your attention. Don't forget, your insights could be invaluable to other members of our community, so don't shy away from sharing them in the comments.